Good morning to you. It is Thursday, November 3rd. I'm Teo Torres. Here's a look at the big stories we're following today. A Sacramento auto shop is under an indictment accused of selling more than $38 million worth of stolen catalytic converters across state lines. Court documents show that the owners and employees of Vang Auto purchased stolen catalytic converters from local thieves and sold and shipped them to DG Auto Parts in New Jersey. Nine people connected to Vang Auto were indicted. More than 1,100 canisters of baby formula will be distributed to El Dorado communities. Supply Bank and First Five El Dorado helping to distribute that formula in Cameron Park this morning, thanks to a $350,000 grant provided by Kaiser Permanente. A distribution is happening at Faith Episcopal Church. That's off Country Club Drive near the 50 freeway. Distribution, by the, begin, uh, by the way, begins at 10.30 this morning and it runs through noon. And it just keeps on snowing on some areas overnight, and we'll take it. This is a look here, video from one of our viewers, Lucy, in Grass Valley. We appreciate it. This happened around 11 o'clock last night. Big snowflakes piling up, relatively low elevation, under 3,000 feet. And that is pretty low, Tamerberg. Yeah, you know, with the cold air that just settled in overnight last night, Tao, I still have the tracking here of a couple of lingering snow showers. Things are really easing up and lightening up for the most part. But yeah, you can definitely see that number kind of narrowing down. Uh, right now, it's close to around 3,000 feet in elevation. Expect those snow showers will be winding down, though, as we go through the rest of the day today. And even the clouds clearing out will lead to a very cool start to the morning. Expect temperatures around the valley spots mid to upper 30s, even some low 40s as we get close to the uh, sunrise hour. Temperatures in the low 50s around 11 a.m. Sunshine, a light north wind, and expect highs today in the low 60s. Back to you. All right, thank you, and that's what we're following today here on KCRA 3.